my dad would always say, Jacob, take out a piece of paper, fold it in half, and write down the pros and cons on each side of the paper. So literally, I would have the right side of the paper listing all the pros and the left side of the paper listing all of the cons. So let's take this same David Morgan approach, except instead of the pros and cons, we will list out strengths and weaknesses. So take that sheet of paper, fold it in half, and write down all of your strengths on one side of that sheet of paper and all of your weaknesses on the other side of that paper. Now again, you need to be honest with yourself here, right? Because nobody's gonna be looking over your shoulder saying, oh, that's not a strength or you're missing some weaknesses. So really be honest with yourself and write down as many as you can think of. Even if you have a long list of weaknesses and a very short list of strengths, that is okay. So write all of those down onto that sheet of paper. Now, if you wanna take this even one step further, you can start to map those strengths and weaknesses to certain things. So for example, if in the strengths column, you wrote things like uh, communication, right? maybe you're an excellent communicator, you can map that out to something that you can do with that communication skill. Maybe you wanna become a speaker. Maybe you want to take a job in marketing or something related. So you can start to see how you can map those strengths, those skills, to certain types of possibilities towards different types of, uh, of jobs or career paths for you. Now you can do the same thing with weaknesses. So let's say one of your weaknesses is being overly critical, right? That's a, a weakness for me for sure. Uh, and my wife will tell you that. I'm sure a lot of my friends will tell you that too. I can be overly critical. Um, I don't wanna say I'm a perfectionist, but I'm kind of uh, blurring the boundaries, so to speak. So that's a weakness for me. I can tend to be overly critical. So I can map that into certain ways that I can try to improve being overly critical. So for being overly critical, that would be taking the positive side of things and trying to avoid any kind of judgment. Now, rumor has it that Ben Franklin, who I'm sure you're all familiar with, did a very similar exercise, except instead of calling it strengths and weaknesses, Ben actually called it liabilities and assets. Liabilities, of course, being the weaknesses and the assets being the strengths. And so he would list out all of his assets and then he would list out all of his liabilities. And he would look at this and then use it to determine the net worth for his character. So this is clearly an exercise that has been around for a while. And I'm sure if it worked for Ben Franklin, it can definitely work for you. This exercise I think is really important because when you see your strengths and your weaknesses written down, you'll have a very good sense of what they actually are, right? It's one thing to try to think of them in the spur of the moment. It's another thing to actually see these things written down in front of you and really taking time to reflect on what they are and being aware of them. Now try to do this on a regular basis. You don't need to do it every week, but maybe you can try to do this every month or every quarter. Because keep in mind, you're gonna learn new things, so your strengths column is going to expand, and hopefully you will also try to figure out how you can improve some of your weaknesses. So as you learn new things and as you try to work on your weaknesses, these things are going to change. And if you do this exercise on a regular basis, you will become very self-aware at any given time of what your strengths and what your weaknesses actually are. It's a very simple practice. And again, all you need, piece of paper, something to write with, or if you prefer, you can even open up a notepad file and do it on there. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Check out futureofworkpodcast.com for more content. And do me a favor, leave a review on Apple Podcasts or whatever your preferred channel is. Thank you.